I'm currently sat in what I think could be the messiest room in the UK right now, but I've got all my wardrobe essentials laid out in front of me and I just want to take you through kind of what if, God forbid, my wardrobe got cleared tomorrow, what I would rebuy, like my favourite things. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start off with jeans and I'd say I've got four pairs of jeans that I love, like the ones I always will go to. So to start off with, I've got these ones from a pretty little thing. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna like put the um, names like up here and if they're in stock, I will link everything in the description because I don't know the exact names of everything right now. But I've got these, they're like 90s, I think washed black jeans. And for two of these pairs, this might be the most annoying thing in the world because I don't know if pretty little things sell these anymore. I think they might do something similar, but I bought these in in the sale like two years ago now, I think, or a year ago now, and they were like seven pounds. So to me that might, and I can never really find them. So they're either always out of stock or they don't sell them anymore, but they're just basically a washed black jean. They're like quite tight at the top and they're a bit baggier at the bottom. But these ones are my first black jeans. So I think just a washed black pair of jeans. Then next up, I've got these jeans from Princess Polly and these have got an asymmetric hem, hem, waistline, waistline. So they button up and they button up to like, be like, oh God, kind of be like that. Like they don't meet like this, they meet kind of like that, which I think is really cool. It makes just a basic outfit look a bit nicer. And they're from Princess Polly. I love these so much. Then the third pair are from Pretty Little Thing and these are like a baggy, well, I don't think they're meant to be baggy. I just bought them in two sizes up. So they are baggy, like a slash leg knee jean. And they're quite baggy, like all the way down. Love it. They're nice at my hips. They're quite low rise. Most of my jeans I like to have like my belly button on. So otherwise I feel like it makes just me look really short. Like my torso look really short. So for me, that's what flatters me. And yeah, these are from Pretty Little Thing. I got these in a UK eight but I usually wear a six or a four in jeans. To be honest, normally six in jeans because I like them a bit baggy. So let's just say I sized up one size for these. And then these are another pair of jeans. I don't know if pretty little things sell anymore, but they're like a baggy boyfriend jean. So these are them. I really like a light wash denim. I just prefer, I think it goes with more. Yeah, it's just my preference. But they are my go-to jeans pretty much the only ones I will wear. I'm trying to think if there's others that I reach for, but there's not really. So those are like my go-tos. Moving on to like tops, basic tops, bodysuits, that kind of thing. This bodysuit that I hang up like here, this is from Opoly. It is the nicest bodysuit ever. I think it's called, well, I'll just put here what it's called, but it's so nice. I've got it in this UK four and it's like, I do wear a, Bra, I've got like a seamless skims bra, which is so good. And I wear that under it, you can't see it at all. It's not see-through, so I love that. And then skims, it's an investment. Like, I'm not gonna pretend it's not extortionate because it is. Like, I think this was 60 pounds, 50 pounds for a basic black bodysuit. However, you will not find one that's better than this. The quality is so so good I don't know if you can like kind of see on the camera it's double like layered but they're very thin layers but then it's really warm like in the winter it keeps you so warm like, I could I couldn't wear it on a hot day because it's that thick and it's black so it just like attracts the sun but it's such a nice fit I think I got extra extra small yeah, extra, extra small. And one thing that I really, really appreciate with a bodysuit, because I hate to name and shame, but pretty to thing, if I buy a bodysuit in a UK four, why is it trying to like split me up the middle? Like it's gives me a wedgie, like an insanely painful wedgie, and it just like it's uncomfortable. It's just not, it's not a good, good time when I'm wearing it. But these, the bit like here, is actually long enough to go around the average human being. So that is what I love about this. And I would, now that I've got one, like I think I felt sick buying it, but now that I've got one, I will be buying them in other colors for autumn, winter. So, and coming from me, someone who does not like to spend their money, trust me on this. And like the neckline as well, it's just so flattering. It's just oh, this, if you're gonna buy one thing, save and buy this. 
the top that I'm wearing actually is always one that I reach for. I do tie it at the back. Let me, you see, like this, because it doesn't fit around my waist but with every top like that I do this with so it's not like a negative of it it's not see-through it's so comfy it's so nice I think it was about eight pounds love it if you follow me on tiktok you'll probably know my obsession with this top from H&M and I do again tie this at the back it's already got it like pre-tied because I never wear it without but this is just like one of their cotton tank top things and I wear an extra small I believe but it's just such a nice neckline when I tie it. I don't, if you don't want to tie your top, don't buy this because you won't like it. But it just sits really nicely. It's really flattering on me, I think. Love it. So this is another one. I think I get everything in like basic colours because it then just means you've got, I think it's called like a capsule wardrobe. It just means you can just put anything together and it will go, kind of. So it means you've got way more outfits than having like out there colours. For like basic crop tops, I think looks to kill are so good. I've got this one, it's like just this black kind of basic racer top, but the hem is like shaped like that. Can you see what I mean? But it's really nice and flattering. It's such thick fabric and it's just like, love it. I then have this, which picking it up has made me realise it needs to go straight in the wash. So let's just ignore that. But it's this white one from Looks to Kill. And I really like the fact that the, like, hem, I think I'm using all the wrong terminology, but the hem of this is, like, asymmetric. It goes down. It's more than just, like, your basic white top. It's also, like, I just, I do wear a bra with it, but you can get away with no bra. I then have this basic top from Sisters and Seekers. And it has like matching shorts, which the colour for one, I love. But it's just this really nice fabric. It's really thick, really like, I don't know how to explain it. It kind of feels scuba-y. No. I don't know what the word is, but it's really nice fabric. I don't know if you can kind of see what I mean at all, but it's really nice, lovely, like fit love it and the shorts as well I love like a matching set I just feel like even if you look kind of not put together having a matching set makes it look like you've put effort into your outfit which it's never a bad thing and these shorts like kind of fold over and they've got like sisters and seekers on the back and so does this top I just think it's nice details that like aren't in your face but it makes it feel a bit more like luxury next up is jumpsuits slash unitards I know these aren't for everyone like one of my friends always says they remind her of like spiders so yeah but this one here is from miss lola and i love this this is like a skims dupe in my opinion i do want to splash out on the skims ones but as i said before me spending money on expensive things just makes me feel a bit nauseous so this is the one that i've got from miss lola and i don't know if you can see like the detail here it's like the hem is like expired oh, i'm sorry my explanations are like so bad but it's just really nice it gives skims and it suit it like fits really well really tight the legs go all the way down to the bottom I'm five foot five slash six I think I'm like 164 centimeters tall I don't know where I've got that from but I think I am so that kind of gives you a vibe of how long it is so this is one of the things that I would just always wear as well like in winter you can just put it on underneath something and keep you warm because England gets so cold it's just like perfect. I then have this one from Opoly and I did wear it the other day, so it is inside out. Let me just. So this one is a long sleeve one and the neckline is really nice. Like the sleeves kind of just come over your shoulders. So it's a very like wide neckline thing. The only thing I wish, I wish I got this in a smaller size. So I would say down size maybe. I got this in a UK six, but it's a bit loose. So if I wanted like the sculpted look, I would wear my other one, but this is so thick. Like if you wear this in winter, unless it's like December time, like if you're doing any other time apart from when it's like actually like freezing outside, this will keep you so warm. It's so nice. Moving on to hoodies. So if you've been here a while, you know my obsession with hoodies. Like a hoodie is just like me. I love winter, autumn fashion is just like my favorite because I can chuck on a big hoodie with some jeans, put a coat on, put a little bag on, and it's done. Maybe a scarf if I'm feeling lucky as well. In terms of hoodies I don't have matching joggers for, these are the ones that I've got. So this is from Sisters and Seekers, and I don't, I actually don't wear this enough. 
it's this really nice like knitted hoodie with like this s on it people always say like it looks like the sketches s but like i think it's cool i think it looks really nice so it's like this and then it's like this really nice to me this is blue but i think it's gray is it well it's just this color it's a really nice color love it it keeps you so warm because it's like knitted just like a really nice bit different because it's not like your average kind of that material you'll think when you think hoodie. So love that. Again from Sisters and Seekers is the yoga hoodie. I mean, if you've not seen this, you've been living under a rock and I'm very impressed that you've not seen it, but it's this hoodie here. It's a gray hoodie. It's the softest hoodie I own. Like, it's just so nice. It's such a thick fabric, really nice. I love the detail, like, so the yoga thing. And then it's got like, this little, I think it says good morning sport on it. So nice lovely the hood as well for for me a hood of the hoodie is so important and this one stays up like behind you it's like a very thick sturdy hood it also doesn't have things here like i'm not wearing a hoodie that's got the dangly bits i just don't like it i feel like it looks cheap in my opinion but love this so much i think sisters and seekers hoodies they're an investment they are quite expensive i think this is 50 pounds don't quote me on that 60 pounds i'll put the price up but it's so worth it i love it so so much so yeah i then have this hoodie which it took me two years a year to buy this i saw this hoodie last no it must have been last winter i saw this hoodie and just couldn't bring myself to buy it because it's expensive it's from represent which is like a designer brand um but i just think it's so cool we know that i love a basic outfit so i think just even with leggings like shoes i'll get onto my shoes in a minute but just like leggings shoes bag slick hair chef's kiss so this is this like doberman hoodie I like it's really thick and just it's probably mm, it probably is my favorite hoodie at the minute it's my favorite hoodie just because i'm fresh off buying it and love it so much it's just something that i think it can elevate an outfit it might not be for you because it's got like big dogs on it like but <laughs> For me love it so much then the last one of my favorite hoodies that doesn't have matching joggers is this one from boohoo man and boohoo man is so good for a hoodie if you're looking for like a hoodie that's not just your basic like literally just like a solid color boohoo man is your place to go so cheap so good like the quality of this is just like i don't know if you can see how thick it is <laughs> don't know why i think you can do that but it's got this like apparently it's an eye i don't see that that's an eye but it's called like graphic eye hoodie. I don't know that because so many people ask me and I remember what it was called. But love this so much. I just think it's a bit different, a bit cool. Like, look at me trying to be cool. But love this. Then for a matching tracksuit, if you don't have a white fox tracksuit, what are you doing? A white fox tracksuit is an essential in every single person's wardrobe. I love them so much. They are, again, quite expensive. But... To me it's so worth it like i think i went through probably four months where this was pretty much the only thing i wore every day like it was getting to the point that i was like right i actually should wash this because it's not been in the wash for like a considerable amount of time so this is the one i have i think mine are project three or volume three so it's got this like dark gray kind of black writing and then on the back it has white fox on the back which i love i then have the matching joggers which just say white fox project three on them here just like match the top so nice it's these are so flattering as well i think i get these in a small yeah white fox joggers in a small just like a white fox tracksuit is just so nice it's such good quality love it it fits so nicely as well this is kind of like my if you came across me in the street any time in the beginning half of this year, I was probably wearing this. Then for a grey tracksuit, you've probably seen me wearing this a lot because I'm obsessed. I know I said that the Sisters and Seekers hoodies are so soft. These are as well. This is from Movement by Lux to Kill. Looks to Kill? I always say Looks to Kill and I've just said Lux to Kill. I don't really know which one it is. Looks to Kill from Looks to Kill and it is so soft. I've got the matching joggers on now and they just say, oh, yeah, they just say move <laughs> there. Um so flattering so comfy like for me the way the tracksuit look is, looks is obviously important but i'm wearing it to be comfy so it has to be comfy so this is again 
such a good hoodie. I need to chuck this in the wash. I've just realised there's so much like foundation around the edge, but let's ignore that. Then last but not least on my matching track suits is this one from Boohoo. I'm really annoyed at myself because it was in the haul that I did, the like um, collective haul that I did a couple of weeks ago. And I said I didn't know whether I should get it sized up or size or like keep this size. And I wish I went size up. I do sometimes wear it and think it's a bit small, but it's fine. It is really, really nice. The color is so nice. I never used to be like a pale colored girl. I'd always wear black. And then I started wearing like a bit more beige slash cream and now I just love it. So this is like the perfect color for me. These are like Pangea dupes, I think, um, cause they've got this kind of like writing on it that looks like the Pangea tracksuits. Um, but yeah, love this so much. The Boohoo tracksuits as well, so good. Most of them do have like the stringy bits that come down, but if you find one that doesn't, I think it's just like so nice. They look expensive. They feel quite expensive as well and just, yeah. For jackets slash blazers, I never used to be a blazer girl. I always thought it looked like I was going to a meeting and I just didn't like it, but I bought this one and it literally changed my life. A bit extreme, but it's like my favorite thing ever. It is this distressed um, blazer from Pretty Little Thing. In the, I always trip up on my words, I'm saying Pretty Little Thing. It's from Pretty Little Thing. It, you, it did in the website like have strings that came down from here, but mine didn't have any of them, but that's fine. I love it so much. I got this in a UK four, it is massive. Like it says oversized and trust me, it's so oversized. So I would size down 100% even though like it's meant to be oversized. It like, it's huge. Um, it's got like shoulder pads, like it feels expensive. It's so nice. I just think it goes with so much like a plain outfit this just makes it so much nicer i then have these two i actually don't know where the black one has gone but i've got this in a black as well just like a cropped blazer from pretty little thing it's kind of bad quality but i didn't really want it to be anything more than just kind of like an accessory to go over an outfit so i got this and then like the matching black one and then as it is well it's the end of august right now it's absolutely dragging it down with rain outside my window so it's making me feel like autumn is here and it's coming and that makes me so happy so i bought my first trench coat the other day for this year like i have a different one for stradivarius again i can't find it i don't know where it is but i've got it in like a camel color but i bought this one from pretty little thing i bought it from the tool section just because it was a bit nicer than the one from like the just like everything pretty little thing section so it has these like things over the shoulder which i think makes it look so much more expensive like the attention to detail is a lot higher on this one than it was on like the basic just pretty little thing a trench coat then it has this buckle for the belt which again i just think makes it look a bit like more expensive than about whatever how much i paid for it but so nice just like a black trench coat can't go wrong i've been looking for actually if anyone can help me please i've been looking for this woolen coat that jess hunt wore i'm gonna put the picture here I've been looking for it literally since last year and I can't find it. I can't find even one that looks remotely similar, but I want it like so badly. I know as well that I'm gonna find it. It's gonna be like 300 quid and I'm like, I'm not buying that. But if you've got a vibe that's something like this one, please let me know. I also then picked up this denim jacket from Pretty Little Thing and it's just such a nice oversized thing that you can just kind of chuck on over anything. Like I literally had like, black leggings and a black top on the other day and I just chucked this one and it just makes you look a bit more put together I keep saying that but it does so I like this one I got this in a UK 6 it was an oversized it's called like vintage denim jacket or something but I think it's so nice it fits really nicely it fits well enough to have a hoodie underneath because that's what I wanted I saw a picture of Chinsia on um Pinterest and she had like a grey hoodie and then like an oversized denim jacket on I think hers was from Balenciaga but I'm not buying that so this is like what I wanted literally the exact thing so god I feel like I've been talking so quickly I just don't want this to ramble on I need to be really bored so I feel like I'm out of breath next up is bags and until probably about six months ago I didn't use bags like ever I was just not a bag person I thought all I'm taking is my phone I don't need to take a bag I can just put it in my pocket a bag is just like an inconvenience 
now I love a bag like an outfit doesn't feel in like doesn't feel complete until I've got a bag so I've got my two well not two favorites I've got like four here five here so this one from Miss Lola I'm sorry how beautiful is this bag it gives Chanel if I do say so myself it looks like I've got a Chanel bag if I cover this up that was like 10 grand yeah just splashed 10,000 pounds on my bag like I love this with like a plain cream or like black outfit oh, it's my go-to I'm just obsessed with it I then have the black one of like the same thing in like the leathery kind of it's got a different handle I always like tuck this in because I don't want that to be like hanging off my bag but this is the same one but just in black love these so much so this is from miss lola as well and it just looks i think it just looks quite expensive it looks nice it looks just nice then we have my silver bag which i love so much this is from zara and i just always wear this i think it matches really nicely with outfits that i wear i think it kind of goes with everything because it is silver i know like, i'm a gold jewelry girl but i do wear gold and silver jewelry so i don't really mind clashing that with a silver bag so love this so much then again from zara this is a new purchase and it's this bag i think this is so nice you might think it's a bit weird because it's got like the like hair very hair kind of vibe on it and then last but right not least for the bags is this bag from pauline i don't know why i just did a french accent i mean it's a french brand but let's just say it, that was the way it's pronounced it's it is like an expensive bag they very kindly sent this to me a couple of weeks ago or like a month ago but i'm sorry it's just so nice like it's different to anything else i have the color like i feel expensive when i wear this it's like so so nice it's called like the mini mini bag or something like mini number nine don't but it's so nice like and the it feels expensive it feels like this is luxury which i guess it is like a luxury brand but just beautiful it's like a little dumpling just so cute then finally we have my shoes and i recently bought these i know like everyone has them and i never used to like them i literally used to hate them i'm not gonna lie i was like on the panda hate train because i just thought they looked a bit weird i now love them i wear them all the time i think they're so cool but i bought them because they used to be so expensive you used to have to buy them from like i don't even know where like stock x or something for like hundreds of pounds but i got these in jd for like 60 quid because i am size like three slash four for my shoes i get kids ones as well but i think max you're paying like 100 pounds in jd now for them so if you did want to get these like get them now jd before they sell out and then people start kind of if that would happen I, i'm not really in this trainer kind of game but love these so much i just think with just like a base even just like with this kind of outfit just chuck them on and it's like nice then i have these and when i bought these sam i don't think he said it to my face but i could tell he hated them but they do need to clean as well like they're in desperate need for a clean but these are my adidas astir shoes and they're just like a really cute trainer like I just chuck them on they're so comfy for one like so comfy and they're just i mean they haven't really stayed very white but that is my fault i wore these to hike up a volcano in bali it was just wasn't a good idea and they were actually brown after that so i've kind of tried to restore them but i need to clean them again and to be honest when you do clean them properly they do go back to pretty much looking brand new so these are them i love them they're just yeah so good so easy to chuck on I like with like a little active kind of vibe outfit it makes you like you've just been to the gym then I have these dunks which I actually haven't been wearing recently I feel like I forgot I had them but these I think they're called like clear aura dunks I think these are so nice they're just like a bit different with just like a cool outfit I think it makes your outfit look nicer with like a, like a colorful shoe I think it just looks quite cool so these are what these look like and just love them and then last but not least i have these new balance i put these in the wash and i can't seem to find the laces so they're currently laceless um and i haven't been able to wear them because i don't know where the laces are so i'm just gonna need to buy some laces they're probably gonna be about three pound to buy some laces but these are like the green um i think they're 530s 
like really nice and it's a bit cool like they're pretty much the same as these adidas ones like realistically you probably don't need both but these are comfier but i think these are just quite nice to have a little pop of color especially if you're just wearing like a basic outfit which let's be real i always will be but yeah that is kind of all my wardrobe essentials i hope that was not too boring like i hope you actually like thought that that was oh yeah i get that yeah i get that so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.